So it's time to buy a car, or is it? In this video I'm going to be answering the questions Should I buy a car? How can I buy a car? And what are the alternatives? Let's get into the video. So, should I buy a car? Well, it really depends on what your end goal is. If cars is your end goal, it is a valid option, but it's not necessarily needed, as there are many very competitive rental karting championships. But let's say for the sake of this video that you already have your heart set on buying a Rotax car. But this is where it gets expensive, however. So we're gonna talk about the first bit, price. A decent car is anywhere between two and ten thousand pounds depending on the spec. This is also after the price of homologated kit as it can be up to five hundred pounds for just a spec helmet. You're also going to need a trailer to transport your cart to the event and this isn't even counting in the price for tires, fuel and spare parts that you're ultimately going to need a lot of. Despite all of this, if you're going to be in the same championship or running the same cart for quite a while, you can save a lot of money through buying all of the stuff up front and running yourself. You can cut a lot of corners, like saving on tyres. If you already have prior mechanical knowledge, you can run a cart just by yourself and defeat the need of a mechanic. A coach can be very helpful, but isn't always needed, so you can always get rid of that cost. You can save a lot of the cost off of a cart, kit and spare parts by buying them second hand on websites like eBay. So where do I get all of this stuff you ask? As I mentioned earlier, eBay is a great second hand marketplace for a massive range of different karting gear and spare parts. However, other very trusted sites consist of Demon Tweaks, MK Racewear, or just buying direct from Sparco. But what if running your own cart isn't an option? What if you don't have the mechanical knowledge required, the funds for a mechanic, or the space to carry the car? Well, there's an option for you as well. Many teams up and down the grid in basically every championship give the option for you to run with them as part of an arrive and drive package. Now, most people already know what this is, but I'm gonna run through it anyway for the sake of this video. An arrive and drive package is where the team does everything for you. They bring the car, they do the repairs, and occasionally they'll do the coaching as well. This means that you can literally turn up to the track, drive the car, and go home with no attachments. You don't need to run the car yourself, you don't need to worry about mechanicking or where you're gonna put the car. However, this is much more expensive. So, if you're only doing it for a couple races, like we did in the past, then it is a smart decision. But if you're gonna be in the championship for more than one or two seasons, it's gonna get quite costly very quickly. 